Hello and welcome to Sample Lesson Part 1. And today we're going to talk about some records that's been sampled quite a lot. And uh, we start with this little drum break and see if you recognize it. What you just heard was Bo Diddley, Hit or Miss from 1974. And uh, for me, this track immediately responds to a lot of newer tracks. Uh, for example, De La Soul featuring Younger Brothers and Q-Tip from 1989. You remember this track? Meanie, 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 meanie. And also this very famous Dr. Alban track, Hello Africa. We continue with another one from Ohio Players from the album Pleasure from 1972. On this album you can find the track Funky Worm and this track is basically sampled all over. Uh, it's uh, used many many times by Dr. Dre, Snoop Doggy Dogg and the whole G-Funk era. And uh, we start by listening to a sample from, um, from the track. Here on the debut from NWA, Dope Man from 1987. And then again, Dr. Dre used it in the track Gangsta Gangsta, also with the NWA in 1988. And another part of the track from Wahoo Players was used in 1989. Okay. What? Say it now. Yeah. Say it now. Yeah. Me, myself, and I. Another very well known record was uh, Criss Cross from 1992 and the hit single Jump. And here is another example from this really cool synth break they used. And the last example from this song, here we can check the Ohio Players track. And here is the sample used in DJ Jassy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, you know, Will Smith in uh, their mega hit from 1993, Boom Shake the Room. And this Ohio Players track, Funky Worm, has been used in over 250 songs. So um, when you hear the track in full, you probably recognize a lot of bits from here and there. I want to play another track for you with La Biche Cifre, I Got Thee, from 1975. I think this one was quite easy to spot. It was used uh, by Eminem, also a Dr. Dre production, and the track My Name is Slim Shady. And the last track here in this little episode is Funk Inc. and the track from 1971, Cool is Back. And this is a fantastic drum break that's been used in many tracks. Check this out. I think for me, the most well-known version of this drum break is from uh, the group Yes, that Trevor Horn produced in 1983, and the track Owner of a Lonely Heart. Really, really, really nice production. Make sure to subscribe for more sample lessons, and also don't forget to get the app. And uh, until next time, stay safe.